first full day in Austin, Texas. Two things happened last night. One, we're really tired because the fire alarm went off at half past four in the morning. All right, so it's half past four in the morning. I know. How did we get out? Ow! It was the loudest noise we've ever heard. It was a bit crazy after watching the stuff that happened in London a few weeks ago. We're fine, we're just a bit mad. And the second thing is, we're supposed to be going to New Orleans, right? But there's been a really bad weather warning. Your threat becomes heavy rain, and that's what we expect this week. Moisture already building in from Cuba all the way up towards the coast of Florida, towards the panhandle this morning. So we're going to focus on impact. Isolated spots, especially towards the coast, could see between 10 and 16 inches of rain. We're also going to see winds of 20 to 25 plus miles per hour out of the east, which will build up those tide levels two to four feet. Offshore waves up to 12 feet possible. All the flights this week have been cancelled because of heat and wind. So I don't really know what's happening with that. They're still flights at the weekend, but of course they've jumped up in price astronomically because of that. So we don't know. We're going to keep that one loose, I think. Maybe not New Orleans, but maybe we have to rethink that part of the trip. But yeah, today we're going to go back to this lovely bit of Texas, have a look about, chill out, and then hit a pool later on, I hope, because it's warm. <laughs> cool. Let's Texas it up. Austin style. Easy Tiger. Cool little bar that has 35 different kind of craft beers. Uh, we've been recommended to go there by another Scottish Instagrammer, uh, Chris Cheers. Um, yeah, look forward to that later on. It'll be cool. Yeah, Austin's cool. It's, it's exactly what I imagined Texas to be like. It's very, I don't know, just expecting Chuck Norris or Walker Texas Ranger to appear any minute and give us a lift somewhere or beat up some bad guys. <laughs> Chuck, you're awesome. One of the very first things we're going to do is we're recommended by a lot of people, including Nomadic Matt. It's called the Weird Museum or the Weird Museum of Weird. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what it's about, but I think we're going to go in. It's only a couple of bucks. There's a live side show. I'm interested in that a little bit, but a little bit scared by it. A live side show. That means like men hammering nails into their noses and stuff like that, I'm guessing. Oh. <laughs> right, this place is cool. Let's go. There's a Yeti foot. Is that actually a real shrunken guy? I hear noises next door, I think there's people. Oh no. That's a bit weird by the way. What the hell is that? So good. Yeah. So awesome place, definitely recommend it. Seen a man with an awesome beard stick a drill up his nose. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yeah, Museum of Weird. Highly recommend it, pretty cool. Just uh, make sure you've got a strong stomach. 
So Texas has been a bit panicky for us. So we got woke up with fire alarm, and we had a chilled out afternoon. Then we got home, and we discovered that our travel plans to New Orleans are completely scarpered. So there's a massive storm coming into New Orleans. In fact, not just New Orleans, that whole entire area. So our next strategy was to go from New Orleans to Tennessee. That's not going to happen either because all the flights have been cancelled, and the only ones that do exist still, the prices went through the roof. So we're changing our travel plans. I think we're going to go to Chicago next after this. The Windy City, we're still a little bit flexible. We haven't worked out 100% yet, but yeah, strange, strange time in Texas. So another day in Austin, we're at the Capitol building. It's really cool. I think that this is what the Capitol building in Washington was based on. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this was built first because this was the first day, but it's beautiful. So we've not filmed a lot in Texas. Uh, we've had a lot of stuff going on over the last couple of weeks that you haven't been privy to. Uh, we've had some stuff going on at home. Uh, both my parents and Ainsley's parents have gone through some stuff. Uh, it nearly, we nearly had to cancel the trip and return home soon, but today we got the best news we could ask for. So yeah, we're good. We're feeling a lot less stressed, a lot more relaxed. And yeah, today we're just going to take in Austin. Uh, yeah, we're going to play it loose today. We're going to go here, we're going to go to 6th Street, see some bars. I don't know what's going to happen after that. We never do. <laughs> and then we need to pack tonight. I'm going to try and zoom in, but at the very top there's Lady Liberty holding the Lone Star. That's awesome. And I don't know what these are. These four, six little circle things as well. I love the Texan flag and I love the whole Lone Star State idea. It's cool. I read they were trying to secede for the US government, but I don't know how likely that would be or if that was complete nonsense I read. But it's cool though. Beautiful. Very, very cool building. Let me go and see if we can get inside it. So we're in, we made it. It's beautiful. This everything has marble and wow. Look at the floor. Whoa. Wow. Oh my god, that's amazing. How pretty is that? That's unbelievable. Okay, upstairs is cool. Wow. I'm blown away, honestly. Gobsmacked. Didn't think this is the kind of thing I'd be doing today. I thought we'd be drinking whiskey. <laughs> That's to come though. Look at this. Community clerks, right? They're all children. They're so young. Wow. Well, they have only about 20. I know, that's the thing, this guy's probably about 25 or something. That was amazing. So, yep, we're going to go to the Bullock Museum of Texas History next. Check out place out. Get some food maybe as well. Windy! This is ginormous. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Right, so we're going to the Texas State History Museum. <laughs> Let's do it. Some of the exhibits were closed in the museum. And it's 13 bucks each, so we're kind of just going to get that mess. I bought a magnet, right? A tiny little magnet. The size of the bag they gave me. The magnet's like that size. Texas. Cool place. Not just Texas, America. Go big or go home. Loads of food trucks, but I think they're all shut, believe it or not. What's that one? Wow, quesadilla. Oh, it's closed. Chutney bites, closed. Egg rolls, closed. Boo. 
Oh well, a food truck adventure is not going to happen, but it looks like it. Oh, that sounds amazing. Heroes Gyros or Heroes Gyros. Right. Well, we'll just have to go and find another bar. Let's go and find a bar. Finally on 6th. It's really warm. Cool building. And there's Gold's Gym. Legendary. Right, let's find a good bar in 6th Street because there's hundreds of them. We're hitting the Irish bar because you can never go wrong with an Irish bar. DB Riley's Irish pub. Into it. Let's do it. They do spirits and they do crack. They actually do crack. That's for the crack. Yay. Right, let's do it. Tito's. So there's a vodka they make in Austin called Tito's and I absolutely love it. I had it when the first time I had it, it was on the plane in New York. I'd never had it before and I knew it was made in Texas but I didn't know it was made here. Mm. Finally, finally Easy Tiger. The last time we were here it was closed for a corporate event. So we're gonna go down there and chill at the riverside and have one of the 35 casket beers that they have or ales. It's gonna be good. Right, let's go inside and grab a pint because it is sweltering out here. They've only got 31 beers today. It's a shame. <laughs> on 6th, this awesome bit of artwork here, uh, we just left Easy Tiger, big thank you to Chris, John Millington, thank you so much for that tip because it was awesome, uh, yeah, I think this is our last night so I'm going to end the vlog here, I might end the vlog here, we're going to go and see if we can catch the sunset, so that should be cool, if we don't catch it then I don't know, but yeah we're off to Chicago tomorrow, we need to go home, we need to pack, we need to get in that swimming pool and chill out, so yeah let's do it, yay, Upcross!